Hi, my name's Tom Betts and I'm working for a company called Big Robots. We're making a game called Sir, You're Being Hunted. We're here today at Unite Nordic to talk about how we're using procedural generation technology um, in our game, essentially to enable us as a small team to achieve the kind of ambitious vision that we, we want for our, for our game within Unity. But we're also using it because it creates interesting situations that we wouldn't otherwise be able to predict um, and it makes gameplay kind of emergent and, and unique and exciting. Unity's been a, a great help to us in terms of really the speed that we can try things out. Um, we did a Kickstarter appeal last year and we wouldn't have been able to get a prototype together um, at the speed that we did without using Unity. So it enabled us to get into a position where we could actually show uh, live gameplay of, of what we were trying to work, work on. I guess what we're really excited at the minute to be able to get to the point where we can start giving the, the game to the kind of pre-orders and the backers so that they can actually engage with it and we can get that feedback. Um, because there's a lot of unique events that are happening and it'll be really interesting to see what people find within the game that we haven't even come across yet. We started off using Unity for a, a project that was commissioned by Channel 4, a UK TV uh, uh, company, um, and that was about, it must have been three years ago or something, so quite a long time I guess. Um, and we've kind of kept pace with sort of the updates. Uh, we've recently moved to using MechAnim uh, as the new kind of features come along. Um, coming from a kind of C, C++ background, it, sometimes it's been a little bit difficult to adjust, but it, it took a lot less time than I expected. We decided we wanted to talk at Unite because we thought it would be a good opportunity to show where we're at with the game and also hopefully to try and inspire other people so that they can sort of move on with their games by perhaps using some of the techniques we use that allows people to kind of get on with things that otherwise they might get stuck because they're having difficulty trying to um, get the resources um, to work on their own projects. I think the games industry is in a really exciting place at the minute and mainly due to the kind of recent explosion of the independent games scene, um, which is kind of where we are situated as well. Um, and it's exciting from personal perspective that Kickstarter and other funding models like that allow small studios to really pursue visions that might be impossible to do in the mainstream. Um, and I think that kind of holds true for, for most of the independent community and I think that's why, in one way, the independent scene has kind of grown so much recently. And I think that's something that I hope kind of continues and pushes further into the kind of more commercial end of the, of the games industry.